good morning friends so we'll start ultrasonic testing review questions basic study guide ultrasonic waves propagate through test material in the form of mechanical vibration when the ultrasonic beam passes through the interface of two dissimilar materials at an angle a new angle of sound travel takes place in the second material due to refraction the gradual loss of energy as ultrasonic vibrations travel through material is referred to as attenuation ultrasonic velocities are different for different materials the difference are primarily caused by difference in the material elasticity in the material elasticity and material density Ultrasonic energy for immersion testing is transmitted to the test object as a compressional wave because liquid will only sustain compressional waves. When inspecting coarse grained material, which of the following frequencies will generate a sound wave? that will most easily scattered by a grain scot structure the most easily scattered means high frequency so for coarse grain material you have to use 1 megahertz probes or less depending on what you are getting in the basic pulse echo ultrasonic instrument the component that produces the voltage that activates the search unit is called a pulsar in general shear waves are more sensitive to small discontinuities than longitudinal waves for a given frequency and in a given material because the wavelength or shear waves is shorter than the wavelength of longitudinal waves The sensitivity is lambda by two, so shear waves are more sensitive to small discontinuities. The primary purpose of reference blocks is to obtain a common reproducible reference standard. The general use of distance amplitude correction is to compensate for attenuation, distance, and beam spread. the ability of transducer to detect echoes from small discontinuities is a definition of sensitivity in area amplitude ultrasonic standard test blocks the flat bottom holes in the blocks are different diameters area is different increasing the 0.4 mm increasing in 0.4 mm so diameter increasing in 0.4 mm increments from the number 1 block to number 8 block so area of the hole is increasing that's all which of the following will create a resonance condition in a specimen continuous longitudinal waves the display on most basic pulse echo ultrasonic instrument consist of a a scan presentation each of the following factors has the last least influence on the amount of energy reflected from a discontinuity the test frequency the size of discontinuity orientation of discontinuity discontinuity type yes test frequency no the amount of energy reflected from a discontinuity the presence of a discontinuity will not produce a specific discontinuity indication on the display screen 
when which of the following technique is used through transmission testing because when you have a ten discontinuity your transmission through is will, ob will be objected means it cannot pass through so there is no indication that's all the most commonly used method for producing shear waves in test part when inspecting by the immersion method by angulating the search tube to the proper angle with respect to the entry surface of the test part you have to angulate so how much shear wave you need on the steel surface you can control by angulating lack of parallelism between the entry surface and the back surface may result in screen pattern that doesn't contain back reflection indication lack of parallelism means it is maybe taper it's all between the entry surface and the back surface in immersion testing proof that search unit is normal perpendicular to a flat entry surface is indicated by maximum reflection amplitude from the entry surface significant errors in ultrasonic thickness measurement can occur if the velocity of propagation deviates substantially from an assumed constant value for a given material in immersion testing the water distance between the search unit and the test piece should be the same as water distance used during calibration in contact testing shear waves can be induced in the test material by using an angle beam transducer with the transducer mounted on the plastic wedge so that sound enters the part of an angle using an angle beam transducer with the transfer transducer mounted on plastic wedge so that the sound enters the part at an angle this is the best answer that's all the most commonly used method for producing shear waves in a test part when inspecting by the immersion method is by angulating the search tube to the proper angle with respect to the entry surface of the test part the immersion testing proof that the search unit is normal to the flat entry surface indicated maximum reflection of amplitude from the entry surface immersion testing water distance from the search unit and the test piece should be the same as water distance used during calibration generally the best ultrasonic testing technique for detecting discontinuities oriented around the fusion zone in a weld plate is an angle beam method using shear waves thin sheet may be inspected for laminar discontinuities with ultrasonic wave direct directed normal to the surface by observing the amplitude reflection pattern the multiple reflection pattern means you have multi echoes then 
the multiple reflection pattern, how it is behaving. Ultrasonic inspection of casting is occasionally impractical because coarse grain structure. Ultrasonic testing techniques are useful in testing laminate and sandwich construction test object for bond integrity. Angle beam testing for plate will often miss lamination that are parallel to the front surface. Ultrasonic technique that frequently used in online automation process control applications to measure and control the thickness of cold roll strips, sheets and plates. Reflection indication from a weld area being inspected by angle beam technique may re represent all of the following except means it will cannot catch lamination in the base metal. Which of the following statement about field inspection application of ultrasonic testing is true? Manual and automatic system and can be used for field inspection. An ultrasonic test using straight beam contact search unit is being conducted through the thickness of the flat parts such as plate. The test should detect laminar type discontinuities with major dimension parallel to the plane of rolled surface. The resonance technique of thickness measurement has been mostly replaced by linear time-based pulse echo technique. Visual testing. You see from here direct. When measuring surface roughness, RI is defined as what? Average distance for the profile to the mean line. What do inspect inspectors need to have an additional to being proficient in the testing process to increase the probability of finding rejectable discontinuities with maximum, maximum efficiency, motivation to perform? What magnification power is typically available for field pocket pen and measuring microscopes that are small and handheld between 10x to 550x? This I don't agree because if it is measuring microscopes, then okay. If it is just a lens, 5x to 20x. If somebody has microscope, I don't know. Small and handheld microscope. What is the visual testing? You can put a comment. What is the visual testing? Optical detection of surface anomalies and checking confirmation, confirmance to specification. What is the minimum luminance recommended by Illuminating Engineer Society, IES, for the task lighting with medium contrast and small size detection desired, 500 lux. That is minimum. What element of eye is analogous to film of a camera receiving and documenting an image of the world? A retina. What is the direction of view called in a boroscope or videoscope when viewing 45 degrees? Up the straight ahead direction of the probe. Forward oblique. Illumination varies inversely as the square of distance between the source and the point on the surface increases. What is the law called? Inverse square law. How many bundles are there in a fiber optic boroscope and what are they called? Two, light guide and image guide. What is pillowing in on aircraft lap joint? Typically on aircraft skins usually attributed to expansion of corrosion products under the skin. Which remote camera system is singularly best suited to inspect stainless steel tubing for weld condition or cleanliness process piping, drain blinds, and heat exchanger tubing push camera. When inspecting 
weld for discontinuity is located by visual te testing of pressure vessel and storage tanks. Which of the following discontinuity is allowed to be present to some degree undercut? What is commonly evident surface discontinuity visible to the unaided eye following for me? Age breaks, temper rolled seats of steels, all this. Uh, when, which of the following is an example of an organization that publishes standard for the test technique, ASTM? What type of cracking occurs the last termination point of the weld by shielded metal or welding? Crater crack. These are mainly you can get in the TIG weld rather than SMW, but uh, okay, sometimes. How can the heat affected zone has of a carbon steel weld be made visible? It chance to enhance the visibility of the microstructure. Which type of nuclear reactor vessel may have all its internal components removed from the vessel to allow visual inspection? Pressure water reactor. Pixel used in digital photographer, digital photography or images is a term that comes from what combination of words? Picture elements. What might be required after visual inspection of steel fasteners in rota? Aluminum plate on a lab joint or a aircraft with evidence of oxyphilation. Oxfoliation, uh, ultrasonic C scan. Evident exfoliation. Exfoliation, what is that? We have to find out. Exploration is the removal of dead cells on the skin surface in order to uncover new cells. Okay. After visual inspection, you find then the evidence of this. Then you do ultrasonic C scan. Pixels used to digital photography or image in the term that comes from what combination? Picture elements. And then we go for MFL. Magnetic flux leakage. Let us start from here. What particular type of discontinuity would not typically be included by magnetic flux leakage techniques? <clears throat> Surface contamination, it cannot, it is, it is not meant for that. The strength of the magnetic field in the interior of a coil is determined by number of turns in the coil and the strength of applied current. 
the current use for magnetization when performing magnetic flux leakage inspection may be a study in non fluctuating current as a general rule hard high strength ferromagnetic materials have high coercive force and are not easily demagnetized in magnetic flux leakage inspection for discontinuities using an active field the part being inspected should be magnetized to saturation or near saturation in the magnetic flux leakage testing the great test the tube wall thickness for which maximum sensitivity can be maintained is C is the right answer here. It is up to 10, 12. So that's why they are writing 8. If the highest 8 is okay, 8 or 10, they will sometimes make 10, sometimes make 8. The advantages of the magnetic flux leakage testing has in comparison with electromagnetic testing is that Magnetic flux leakage testing is easier to use on ferromagnetic materials. This is for ferromagnetic materials, not for any other materials. In the examination of above ground storage tanks where the flux sensor is on the top of surface, both top and bottom surface discontinuities can be detected, but generally cannot be distinguished from each other. So they are adding eddy current. Materials that are weakly repelled magnetically are called diamagnetic. They add eddy current and make they name it star technology. They break in the magnetic uniformity of a part that is called a magnetic discontinuity is related to a sudden change in permeability. A hysteresis curve describes the relation between magnetizing force and flux density. When inspecting a wire rope, a magnetic flux loop is used to monitor reduction in cross section. Magnetic flux loop. If it is diodes, magnetic diodes, then broken. Where's change in inspections? Speed is not affecting. Speed is for a loop only. This is monitor only to reduction in cross-sectional area. Okay, my dear friends, we'll stop here.